all right joining me at this point of time is my call is is my guest major mohammad ali shah who's a defense expert and oftenly does give us time on these issues surrounding tensions escalating in the middle east very good morning to you major mohammad ali shah and at this given point of time it is important to understand you know the role of hezbollah being powered uh, by intense weaponry and at this given point of time you know from 1971 to this time how its existence has now been at the forefront of threatening the millions of lives of civilians that are still presently trying to uh, battle the survival in israel and in the southern lebanon right uh, subran it's a very very complex situation and a very very concerning development that has taken place in fact uh, when especially when uh, after uh, the death of hasan nasrullah after the killing of hasan nasrullah iran attacks israel and which has been condemned by uh, various other countries like france america japan japan's new prime minister he has said he will he willing to join america to uh, he for his condemned it is highly unacceptable and he is willing to the uh, joint fair uh, with america to uh, to in order to prevent an escalation of war over there so this is actually 180 uh, ballistic missiles 180 ballistic missiles most of them are intercepted uh, intercepted with the help of america and the iron dome system that the uh, technology that israel has got and uh, their rear admiral their spokesperson had uh, davis he had mentioned that there there's been no casualty in uh, israel as yet uh, so uh, it's, uh, it's it's fine but then Iran also had attacked, had fired on Israel in the Central Economic Zone around month of May, if I'm not mistaken, and that was a symbolic attack because uh, in a Syrian consulate, the IRGC, the Islamic Revolutionary Guard of uh, Iran, they a few of them were killed over there, and it was suspected Israeli attack. It wasn't proved till today. It has been, it has been neither has Israel taken responsibility of it, and neither has it been proved. But it is indeed a very, very concerning development. Now the Defense Secretary Lloyd J. Austin III on Tuesday night of U.S. In fact, he said the U.S. forces who had helped Israel shoot down missiles remain ready to protect U.S. troops and help defend Israel. Now, in a statement, he also called the attack of Iran as outrageous act of aggression. Now, also parts of Israeli missile had fallen to Jordan, which was stated by uh, by Mohammed Al Momani. Who then? Uh, who, who and he's a government spokesperson who had told uh, the state-owned media over there, Al Mamlaka, that uh, TV. He had mentioned that this had happened, and uh, so when there is a war, of course there is going to be collateral damage, which is uh, very sad. But again, a collateral damage. If I have to talk in terms of say Gaza, for example, Israel uh, they finished forty-one thousand civilians. Most of them are children, women, elderly. unacceptable from any side now iran has attacked israel now the very fact is how do we end this uh, conflict there is no end god forbid i mean it i feel it pains me no end over 100 years this conflict has been going on i personally feel that hamas should straight away react and release the hostages without a second delay because if you see logically after 7th october last year ever since hamas took the hostages since then the escalation has gone on and go, gone forth hmm. now because jitne hostages nahi liye utne log to mare usse zyada multiply by 10 people have been have been killed they have died over there i mean multiply by 100 other would say so hamas should firstly release the hostages now hmm. also if you notice the israel's target their focus from hamas has gone towards hezbollah hezbollah the chief was killed and hezbollah See every Newton law of motion says every action has an equal and opposite reaction. When there is a retaliation, of course, retaliation is with much more anger, much more force, much more gravity, much more iner- inertia. So the very fact is now when Iran attacks Israel, Israel is not going to keep quiet. Israel will fire back. Israel will give back in a much befitting reply. Hmm. These statements come from Iran that this is only uh, kind of a uh, our next release of missiles will be much harder than this. Hmm. Israel hmm. has said we will strike back at a given time of our choice, a place of our choice. It's it, we deserve the right to do how we want to do, and hmm. Israel is not going to definitely keep quiet. They've got support from various other international.